Almost everyone in Hawaii has a Kapi'olani story. With the opening of the new Diamond Head Tower of the Kapi'olani Medical Center for Women and Children, those stories are sure to continue. Um, it's a really exciting day for us. This is really special. Um, we are opening our new Diamond Head Tower. Uh, we will be able to open our intensive care unit soon. Our pediatric and neonatal intensive care units will have all private rooms and our families will be able to now stay with their children while they're hospitalized. The 200,000 square foot tower is the first structure to be built since the hospital's opening in 1978, continuing a legacy of care that began more than a century ago with the vision of a queen. <laughs> The Queen established the maternity home in 1890. She was very concerned about women's health and newborns. And we are able to carry on that legacy today because we have a state-of-the-art facility providing great care for the women and newborns and the children here in Hawaii. Many of the children requiring 24-7 care in the neonatal and pediatric intensive care units. The new expanded NICU and PICU will now allow families to stay comfortably overnight in one of the 84 private rooms. So we have about three times the size that we currently have. We can close the door, we can keep it nice and quiet, and we can keep it dim if they need to sleep versus the current building, we have just curtains separating every room. The state-of-the-art rooms are equipped with the latest technology, including wireless communication, digital screens, and patient monitoring systems. This new building, we're getting the best of the best of technology and our um, information people. Technology people have worked really hard um, to customize it for us, so we're just right up there with all the hospitals on the mainland. The tower will also house an adult medical surgical unit, outpatient clinic, rehabilitation department, and conference center, with future plans for a new emergency and radiology department, dining room, and fitness center. This is phase one of a master plan, and the goal is to an entire rebuild of our hospitals. A goal set to be completed in 2025, one that couldn't be reached without the help of names like these, every one with their own Kapi'olani story.